Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Detective Pikachu. I'm Purple Rodri. As you guys might have seen on my Twitter, I was a groomsman at my friend's wedding this weekend, and I completely lost my voice. So bear with me as we go through today's video. I'm going to be sounding a little bit different, but I hope to recover in the next couple days. I've been chugging a lot of water. I've been resting up with my dog Spot, so I hope that I'll be feeling better soon. Now, last time we got here, and we were told that the per ugly was over here inside of Manectric's cage. So let's talk to the Perugly. Now that's a big yawn. Hey, Perugly, there's something we want to ask you. Let's ask it about Magnemite's location. Do you know where the Magnemite that was in the cage went to? You don't. We should go find it ourselves. Sorry to bother you, your highness. Okay, so the Perugly has no idea where the Magnemite is. Let's see. Maybe Mimiku does? You passed Magnemite in the hallway, right? Do you know where it went? You don't know, huh? Where could it have gone? Where could it have gone? We gotta make sure to talk to everyone here so that we can find where the Magnemite is. This guy said, Magnemite's gone missing. It's electromagnetic waves will mess with all our equipment. We need to find it. Dude, that's, that's what we're trying to do, my friend. We're not here just running around for fun. We're trying to figure out all of the mysteries here at GNN. Apparently, it's also participant in the contest. You don't want to lose. That's a spirit. Like a Pokemon with a bit of fighting spirit. So asking about Perugly. You didn't see Perugly at all. I won't blame you. We'll sound asleep in the cage there. So last but not least, we are going to talk to her. We're going to ask about Mimikyu and Perugly. She said, apparently it's a newbie Pokemon star. I've heard it'll appear anywhere. There are cameras. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is definitely true. Perugly must have chased Magnemite out of its cage before we got here. Perugly's quite big. I don't think it would have any trouble getting in so long as the door was unlocked. So there you have it, guys. We need to keep finding what is going on with the Magnemite and the Perugly. I've investigated this a whole lot, so I think we're good to head on out of here. All right, let's head to the sub-control room. We need to let Hero know about Magnemite. Let's go. We're back in the sub-control room, so let's talk to Hero. Hmm? He said, what? Magnemite escaped? Dude, what have you been doing in here? Are you serious? The other guy said, I think it's somewhere in the studio. That would explain all the static in the footage we received. We need to split up and search the studio then. Do you think you could help us, Tim? Of course. Let's go, Pikachu. Just one moment. Studio's a big place. Without a plan, we could be searching all day. What do you want to do then? Let's get the Yanma to help us. If a camera gets close to Magnemite, it'll start showing interference on the screen. <laughs> ah, good plan. Do you think we could use the Yanma camera's hero? They might help us find where Magnemite's hiding. Of course, I'll leave it to you, Tim. Thank you very much. Can you hear me, Yanma? I want you to film around the studio as I tell you to. All right, there's our footage there. What the most interference is backstage. Come on, let's go say hi to Magnemite. Oh, Magnemite, there you are. Magnemite, handle with care. Tim, come here. I found it. There it is. Just as we suspected. Yep. They can finally start filming now. Why are you causing everyone so much trouble? <laughs> you say it's Perugly's fault? Well, I guess that's only fair. It did steal your place after all. It probably takes after that Olga woman. What an obnoxious duo. <laughs> We've gotten a good tour of the studio, right? The tour of the studio is over. Since you found Magnemite, all the cameras should work just fine. Let's go to the studio. Yeah, don't want to miss Karina's big moment. You should head back to the dressing room, Magnemite. A nuisance of a Pokemon case was closed, and the rehearsal began. It's a rowdy audience, except there is no audience. I guess that's the magic of television, right? Oh, we're starting. Hi, everyone, and good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Maximum Music. As always, I'm your host, Max, and... Max! <laughs> that's not right. This is Chatot. So, today Hold we on. have... We'll introduce the guests tonight. Thank you very much. I'm Olga Ellison, and this is my darling Perugly. Oh, Chella, our show's being taken over again! Wonderful work, Perugly, dear. Well, 
shall we get the show going? So, coming up next, a very special guest. A violinist you all know and love. Here she comes now. Miss Karina Mitchell. What are you doing? Clap harder. Clapping as hard as I can. Oh. Good evening. Karina. And cut. <laughs> so, Karina, smile a little more. Don't forget that, okay? He's right, you know. You've got to be more confident, otherwise nobody will care. Now, now. Ah, she obviously doesn't get it. It's her modesty and humility that add to Karina's charm. It seems like a lot of work to be on TV. Everyone's arguing over here, so let's see what's going on. Yes. You're amazing, Karina. She said, oh, Tim, I'm sorry, I feel so embarrassed. Please don't be, just do the same thing next time. So let's ask about Karina's appearance on stage. She said, how am I supposed to smile naturally? Hope I don't mess up on the real shoot. I'm sure you'll loosen up as you do rehearsals. Yeah, I wanna see Karina's natural expressions. And that's true, I always have a hard time taking a smile in front of a camera. Here, I thought he was all working no play, but seems like he knows how to cut loose. True musician entertains his audience no matter what. Well, you certainly talk big. Let's ask it about the rehearsal. This is the first time you've been surrounded by so many cameras. Yeah, I imagine it's pretty different from performing on stage. It must be. Let's talk to everyone around here and see if we can gather a little more information on what's going on. Seems like Max just ran off with his chat up. So we really don't know what that dude's been up to. Ah. Hero said, some control room. Do you read me? Could you do a check on the last bit? Hi, Hero. Said, oh, hey there, Tim. Sorry, do you think you can wait until later? I got my hands full with these. All right, dude. Being a director seems like a lot of work. Maybe we should go talk to the other cast members of the show for now. That makes a lot of sense. Let's go talk to everybody else. And I wonder where they went, actually. Why are they not here? Did Max and Chad not just run this way? We'll ask it about the rehearsals just to make sure we get a little more info. But I think we're going to be good. Let's go to the dressing rooms then and try to talk to our friends. Oh, they're right here. He said, hey, nice job out there, Olga. You still got that rapier wit of yours. Hold on, what do you mean by that? Are you saying I'm not nice? Uh, no, no, I just... Eh, maybe you should start taking your job more seriously yourself. Come on, per ugly deer. Ooh, man, she's got a temper. It's Olga's voice. Its voice impressions are really amazing. It has the same tempo and everything. Right? There's no secret or trick or... I got it. Huh? Got it. Chatter is responding to Max's signals. Tim, try stomping your foot down. There you go, that's how Max does it. That's what I thought. You noticed Max set his foot down earlier too, right? That was his cue to have Chad mimic Olga. Oh, I get it. He sent signals like that to Chad and have him make the voices he wanted. Well, guess I'm found out. You're pretty good. Are there other signals you use? Well, yeah, but I'm not gonna give them all away. Where's the fun in that? I think I'll head back to my dressing room now. I think the next rehearsal's about to start. Let's go ask Hero. Let's go talk to Hero then and see what's going on. That's pretty cool that that's how he interacts with Chatta. That's how you usually interact with dogs too if you want them to do tricks. He said, how are the checks coming along, Sub Control? They're done, no problems. Great, let's move on to the next rehearsal then. Are you ready, Tim? We're ready. Great, let's get Hoo Hoo ready for the signal. Three, two, one. Pikachu, calm down. Doesn't this music move you at all? You must have a heart made of stone. Yeah, yeah. You've shown the world that you're very sensitive, so you can stop now. Hey, Tim, do you think you could get your Pikachu to be a little more quiet? <laughs> See? And cut! That was wonderful! 
Oh, you were amazing, Karina. Thank you. <laughs> Your music is so beautiful. <laughs> it really was. Backstage, she's humble and modest, but when she performs, she's proud and confident. That duality makes me breathless. Not the performance? Hear me now! I declare that one day she and I will perform on stage together. I can't believe this. What's next? Pikachu really likes the music, and I get it. The music can definitely move you. That was beautiful, Karina. She said, thank you very much. Just do the same thing for the real deal. All right, it's about time we should call on Olga and Max. Oh, I can go let them know we're ready. Great, thanks. What should I do in the meantime? Oh, right. Could you go put your violin backstage for now? Of course. So just like that, we helped out with the performance. Let's ask about the next rehearsal and what's going on. He said, it's the scene where the assistant Pokemon gives Karina her violin. Keith went off to fetch the Pokemon, but he hasn't come back yet. I wonder where Keith has gone to. Could be that he was cornered by Olga again. Let's ask about Karina's performance. Why are you acting so full of yourself? That's definitely true. Hero. Oh, hey Karina, did you put your violin back there? She said, yes. Thanks, now once Keith gets back, let's start our next rehearsal. Hero, this is bad. The assistant Pokemon won't make it? Uh, what are you saying, Keith? Uh, so sorry. I mixed up the dates of our schedule. Oh, my head hurts. I need a Pokemon. Any Pokemon to help us out. <laughs> hey, I know. Tim, do you think Pikachu could fill in for the day? <laughs> huh? My Pikachu? Mm-hmm. He seems to enjoy music. I think he'd be great. <laughs> All right. If you really think he could help. I can. You're really saving my life. Thank you. Mine too. Thank you. Okay. I'll need Pikachu to push the carp with the violin. Right over there. To that spot with the mark on it. That's right. And Tim, would you mind standing over there for me? Sure. That's where Karina will receive her violin. You're a big help. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let's start rehearsal. Yanma, move those cameras exactly as you would for a real shoot. Yan Yan, Yan Yan! Pikachu, you ready? I've never been more ready. I've got this. <laughs> Here's the spot. So she picks it up here. Watch out! <laughs> oh, are you all right? Tim! Oh, no! Yeah, I'm okay. But look! <gasps> My precious violin! This is bad. Last. I was standing right there, and I couldn't do anything. It looks to me like someone just dropped those cameras on us purposefully. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry, the Yanma have never made a mistake like this before. We need to stop shooting for now. Keith, take Karina back to her dressing room. Of course, come with me, Miss Mitchell, this way. You'll take the pieces of the violin, right? Here, let me help pick them up. What could have gotten to the Yanma? They've never messed up their instructions like that before. What are they saying, Pikachu? They say it's not their fault. What do they mean? We should talk to them a bit. Investigate the violin situation. Everyone thinks the Yanma made a mistake and caused the accident. But is that really true? Let's go see what the Yanma have to say. Let's go talk to the Yanma then and gather a little more info on what's going on. It was almost perfectly timed that as soon as we stepped on that X with the violin, they dropped the cameras. Hey, are you hurt? That was a pretty heavy collision. If you're still feeling dizzy, just take it easy. You told us earlier there was no way you'd mess up your instructions, right? Says they follow the instructions to the word and says if we look properly, we should be able to prove it. Oh boy, someone told them to do this. So that's the other Yama to see uh, what they know. Looks like you have your own ideas about that accident. Care to have a chat about them? 
They say they moved exactly as the staff told them to. Really, maybe there was a mistake in the instructions. Huh, I wonder who instructed them then. That is the real question. I think we got what we came from, the Yama. Hero seems to think the accident happened because the Yama messed up, but the Yama said they'd follow their instructions. Yeah, it's trying to find out what really caused the accident. We should talk to the staff members next. Why did the Yama run into each other? Let's talk to these guys. Seems like he's taking this hard. You would think after an accident on set, it's the camera crew's fault, really. Or whoever planned all this. Caused the accident? How should I know? Yanma and I just followed the cue sheet. Oh, that hero gave him. This is the cue sheet. Has every detail how the Yanma are supposed to move. Up, right, left, up. Let's see. The plan for camera one was shoot from above, shoot from the left, shoot from the right, and move in. That's right, can you show the movement plan for camera two? He'd probably be happy to show if you ask him. So there we have it, guys. We got some of the movements. I knew there was something going on here. Yeah, we're fine, dude. How about you, though? Let's ask you about the accident. He said, think back to when the accident happened. The Yanma flew out from the left and right at the same time, right? Of course, they wouldn't crash like that. Nobody on our staff would give instructions like that. Maybe the Yanma misheard. Or maybe they didn't. That's, that's the true question here, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe they didn't. And it looks like Hero is taking this pretty serious. Do you see Hoot Hoot's signal? The honor rely on Hoot Hoot's signal to start filming. It could be that the connection with the sub-control room got disrupted by Magnemite. Come to think of it, you were talking to the sub-control room during the rehearsal too, weren't you? I didn't notice anything strange though. I can check with Hoot Hoot if you want some clarification. Hoot Hoot's signal. Ah, so it could have been Hoot Hoot doing this around here. All right, so we're gonna talk to everybody else on the staff. Looks like she has no idea. Maybe she knows a little something. What do you know about the accident? She said, actually, I didn't see the accident myself. I was looking at the script when it happened. The script? It's the plan for how the show should go. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Said, I made this script. See, it's written to follow the flow of the show itself. You're right. It is. Do you think this is related to the accident? Could be. It doesn't have much on the Yanma cameras on it, though. So there we go, guys. We got ourselves the script. Now, let's see. Is this Keith over here? That was a close one. Yeah, dude. Let's talk to him and about the staff in charge of the Yanma cameras. The new ADs tell Yanma how to move. I see. Huh, we should go talk to them too. So there you guys have it. We just heard a little more info there. We've talked to just about everyone here. Maybe we should check outside the studio. Yeah, let's keep gathering testimony. For sure, let's see if we can find something outside of the studio. This poor Mimikyu, it wants to be in the show so bad. You still upset I got chosen as the assistant over you? Don't get too full of myself. Sure, whatever you say. There's something we need to ask you. Do you know anything about the accident that just happened? It was going around the dressing rooms while avoiding the staff here, so it doesn't know what was going on at the studio. Why was it doing that? Doing a bit of self-promotion. You're definitely persistent. I'll give you that. Ah, okay, okay. So the staff. I wonder what could be happening around here, ladies and gents. We need to check around, talk to some of these people, see what's going on. I'm just going to run around here. And just take a nice look around before we do anything. You guys heard that. We can talk to the Hoot Hoot as well to gather a little more info. And there we go. That's Keith. What's up? He said, Karina's very upset. She said she needed to be alone for a while. I don't blame her. She clearly was very attached to that violin. It was destroyed right in front of her. Do you have any idea why an accident like that could happen, Keith? He said, no, I guess I could have misread the cue sheet. Well, yo, let's see the cue sheet, dude. All right. So it says, camera two was supposed to shoot from above. Shoot from the right, move away, and follow. Yeah, the director gives those of us in charge of the Yama cameras the cue sheet a few days before the day of the shoot. We tell the Yama how to move the cameras based off of that, but I've double checked it and I'm positive I got the instructions right. Is there any chance the director gave you the wrong instructions? Nothing like that's ever happened before. The original cue sheet should be at the sub control room. So I suppose you could go check that. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for us to head to the sub control room and see what's going on. That's also where we're gonna be able to take to talk to the Hoot Hoot. Cause I'm telling you, I got a feeling there's something going on with the Hoot Hoot. Everybody's here in the sub control room. I'm gonna start with the Hoot Hoot. Oh, you don't need to worry about Tim and I are just fine. What about the accident, dude? It says the Yamano were so dedicated to their work that it's unthinkable that they'd make a mistake. Hoot Hoot trusts them. Hero, he looked like he was in a state of shock, but he was still saying he wanted to do something to help. Partner's quite that dependable good about guy, isn't he? You're the one who signaled the Yama when they needed to start moving, right? So the Yama started to move as soon as you signaled them. Same as always. 
Hero said there might have been some kind of communication trouble, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Oh, so who who doesn't know? This guy is the one who was talking to Hero the whole time. He said, you know, it did seem like there was something odd about the Anma's movements. What do you mean? I was checking that footage using this cue sheet, but there was something odd that I couldn't put my finger on. Can we see that cue sheet, my friend? You have the movements on. Yes, this is the original script that Hero wrote. We give copies out to the staff in charge, then keep it under tight security here. Let's see, camera one's movements were, shoot from above, move away, shoot from the right, and move in. And it says camera two's movements were, shoot from above, shoot from the right, move away, and follow. That sounds about right. And this guy said that's right, the Yama should have moved exactly according to this plan. We have the master cue sheet, and it connects perfectly to the other cue sheets. Right. Hey dude, how's it going? We're gonna ask you some things. He said, sorry you had to get caught up in all this. I'm glad you're not hurt. We still have to figure out the cause of the accident. Regardless of the cause, we have gotta take this accident very seriously. Glad nobody was hurt. Us too, dude. Think about if those cameras actually hit somebody, that could really, really injure you. Yes. He said, this is the biggest scandal in the history of GNN. How exactly do you plan to take responsibility for this, Roger? Please calm down, Mr. Graham. Uh, now he shows his true colors. Let's so ask about the accident. He said, I don't even want to think about the accident. Who knows how much money we'll have to pay? And all for a silly violin. But sir, the responsibility for the damage suffered by Ms. Mitchell lies with us. Bah, that has nothing to do with me. It's all because staff here are incompetent. I told you to get rid of any useless staff members, but you have to take your time with it. I don't mean to argue, Mr. President, but we have no place for employees that would cause harm to the station. Mr. Graham seems like a completely different person now. Definitely. Mm, something's bugging me. Why are you staring at my cases like that, Pikachu? I just have a feeling the key to solve the mystery about the accident is hidden in the evidence we've already gathered. In that case, let me help too. Let's go over what's in the case list and think things through. Why did the Yama run into each other? Everyone is thinking that the Yanma made a mistake. The Yama say they did what the instructions told them to do. So what caused them to crash into each other? What could have caused their accident? There we go. That's right. It seems that someone tampered with Yanma's plan in order to cause the collision. The question is, how did the staff not notice something like that? Why would one Yanma have two movement plans? I don't think this was an accident at all. In fact, I think this is a case for us to solve. The cue sheets have been tampered with. The Yama ran each other because they were given fake instructions, but why did the culprit do that? Maybe the culprit had some kind of grudge against Karina? They tried to destroy the violin as revenge for something. Revenge, huh? And if it weren't for Keith's mistake, Karina would have been the one caught in the accident instead of me. Couldn't it be that someone was targeting her directly. Well, let's go to talk to Karina first. Guy testimony from the victim is the most basic steps for any investigation. Yeah. Seems like someone made a fake movement plan to cause the accident. But why? I can't imagine Karina would have enemies, but... But let's see what she has to say. Someone's behind this incident. Let's go talk to Karina then, as you guys just heard. We gotta gather more info from some of the witnesses to try to figure out who is behind all this. All right, all right, all right. Let's check where the dressing rooms are, my friends. We got a couple here we gotta check out. Let's see which one Karina's gonna be in. Karina. Nope, this is Max's. Yo, Max, how you doing, my friend? What kind of craziness hey. you getting yourself into, bro? You seen anything out here you know about the accident or not at all? I, I don't think he knows. What? Oh, about Max's music. He said, of course I do. We had some hiccups since Roger became the producer. Maybe it's time to move on. I feel you, dude. That's how it goes. Let's ask about the signals for chat up. Oh, you can. Try different signals, see what happens. Eh? Tim, give it a shot. Let's go for a uh, whistle. And cut. Whoa. Oh, that must be Hero. What's with the self-contented look? Trying to act all cool, are you? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past Max to do that. Probably more cues than we can imagine. Yeah, there's a lot of cues here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll ask about the accident. Doesn't seem to know a whole lot, so we'll continue on. It's good to get a little info here, though. I'm sure we're gonna have to talk to everyone regardless before we come to solve the final mystery here. And here we have it. Karina, please listen calmly. Said, Tim, what's going on? We found out the accident earlier was caused deliberately caused by someone 
What, but how? Is what you said true? Please tell me everything. Of course. Someone had given fake instructions to Yama. Is that what caused the accident? That's right. But who would do such a thing? Why? It's possible that the culprit had some grudge against you and destroyed the violin as payback. Let's so ask about the violin. Can you tell us a bit more about your violin? Of course, my grandfather made it for me before he passed away. It's the only one of its kind. Oh, it's a memento from her grandfather. Even now when I get discouraged, I remember the message he left for me on the violin. It helps me feel better. A message. What's the message? Oh, you couldn't have. It's written on the inside of the back plate after all. So you can't see it from the outside. No, you can't. Actually, I think the only ones who've seen it are me and Cricket Tune since we used to go play in my grandfather's workshop. Oh, the message on the violin. You'll help us find the culprit? Thanks. Let's ask it about the fake cue sheet. Doesn't seem to know much. Let's ask it about the message. Apparently, Cricket Tune was present when Karina saw the message too. Cricket Tune says Karina read the message to it. It said, to my darling Karina, even when I'm no longer with you, I will always love you and your music. That is very, very sweet, man. I gotta tell you guys that. The message on the violin, huh? Something on your mind? Help Cricket Tune pick up the piece of the violin after accident, but I don't think I saw a message anywhere on the back plate. Could be that you just didn't notice it. If it bothers you, we could double check. Yeah. Ah. Hold on a bit, Tim. I think Karina has more to tell us. All right, let's talk to her. She said, I never would have thought. I mean, I, I thought she told us just about everything, right, guys? I, I don't know what else she's got to tell us. You, you're telling me. All right, so we got the message. It's written on the inside of the back plate. We already got all this info from her. Maybe the cricket tune's got something else. That's it. I'm ready to go. Pikachu, what are you talking about? Oh, there's her violin. Really is wrecked. Let's see, the back plate with a message should be this one, but I don't see any message written anywhere. So that means this violin is a fake. The culprit's goal was to steal Karina's violin. The culprit must have tampered with the Yamna's cue sheet so that the accident would hide the fact that the violin had been swapped. That's right, you almost got away with it too. I swear I'll catch this culprit no matter what. Ah! Expose the culprit who switched it. 